Hi everybody and welcome to another one quarter scale toy review. Today I'm taking a look at the Terminator 2 Judgment Day Arnold Schwarzenegger from uh, Diamond Select. Yes that's right, Diamond Select. Back in 2008, I think this was 2008, uh, Diamond Select decided to release a awesome, truly awesome a rendition of uh, Arnie in the one quarter scale. And I've been hunting for this guy high and low ever since I started collecting the quarter scale figures. A really, really, really huge thank you to the guys at All The Cool Stuff. Uh, it's a shop in the UK. They have their own webpage. The link is in the description below. And they have all the cool stuff. They had this guy just sitting on their shelf for £49.99. That's UK pounds. And I was over the moon. I am astounded that I got this figure for that price. Let's just take a look round the box. You've got the uh, nice film cutscenes on the side there. There's the T800 Ultimate Quarter Scale Action Figure. On the side, you've got over 19 inches tall, over 25 points of articulation, lifelike sculpt, features all authentic movie sound effects. Unfortunately, no movie quotes though, just the sound effects. Imagine that was to do with licensing. On the back here, you've got some images of Arnie, Arnie with the glasses, a quick bio there, and just who sculpted this on the bottom. And on the other side, we have a blank saying, Asta la vista, baby. Let's take a look at the toy. Straight out of the box, I'm very, very happy with what I've got. I had to add the sunglasses, they are packed separately in a blister, and so is the gun. Um, I've had very mixed opinions on this. Some guys call him Arnold Skinny Nator. You know, yes, he is a very thin mould, but they have got him down to a T. The leather, the clothing, the posture. It is done to an exceptionally high standard. I mean, there is no doubt at all that this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, I know there are other one quarter scale Terminator figures out there, but I have to say, I feel this has one of the best sculpts going. It is a fantastic head sculpt on this. The hair looks a little bit plasticky, but the face and the detailing they have really captured Arnold. As with all of the Diamond Select one quarter scale figures, he does come with a display stand, but he doesn't need it. Because of his articulation around the ankles and the legs, he is an extremely well balanced figure, which um, is more than I can say for a lot of those quarter scale figures out there from other companies. I really love the faux leather they've used on this guy. It really hugs the figure. They've got working zips on the arms. They've got the little buckles on the corner there. Got a t-shirt underneath there. The leather pants, uh, they kind of grip where they're supposed to. And again, okay, going all the way down to the boots. Again, really nice use of that leathery affected plastic and even the silver detailing on the buckles there. Okay, yes, he could have been bulkier. Uh, I would love to have seen um, some of the muscle add-ons you can get, like you can for the Hot Toys. So you could just kind of add these onto his body and then he'd be slightly beefier. Now, when you get this guy, um, there's a small switch on the side um, which you have to pull up his shirt and undo the uh, this kind of clear mesh at the back here to switch the switch over. Uh, that then allows him to play more than just the one sound effect. So if we press the button on his chest. And I think, I think that's about it. And what I would have liked to have seen, I would have liked to have seen some of the Arnie quotes in the movie there. But again, I imagine that was just down to licensing issues. I think even, uh, that's, that's a stitched on pocket, that's a shame. But I know all of these 
zips do work, they're all functional, um, nothing inside, it's just decorative. But uh, I love the detailing on this guy, I mean, just look at those hands. Yeah, I'm holding him by his chest, I mean, that's going to happen a lot. Uh, you've got a great range of movement on that hand there, you've got articulation on the wrist, and the fingers themselves are superb. I love the way it just fits perfectly on that gun. Looking at the uh, head sculpt, let's take these glasses off, even the glasses themselves are... Uh, actually tinted lenses which is <laughs> that's really good I mean that is Arnold Schwarzenegger down to a T I love the uh, paint apps on this guy although there is a small small smear on his face there yeah that's a slight shame really crisp detailing there you've got the uh, small wrinkles around the eyes it's a really good hairline maybe could have I don't know, done something with the texture on the hair, but again, this is from 2008. Things have advanced a lot since then. Really, really like that face. Okay, he doesn't look exactly like Terminator from Terminator 2, but I think he's pretty much spot on for Turf Arnie in Rise of the Machines. It looks absolutely perfect. Ta-da! Prepare to be horrified. That's right, I just wanted to take the uh, the clothes off so you could actually see the full range of articulation on this guy. Now, looking at the uh, head, you have got a really good ball joint on there. I'm going to turn this off. Where's the switch? There. Um, you've got a really good ball joint on the head. Great looking up around uh, 360 if you want to. Ah, it doesn't turn off, it just goes into... Test mode, great range of movement on that shoulder, really nice ball joint on there. Nothing on the bicep, but you have got a ball joint and a swivel on the elbow. Not a double jointed elbow, um, but still great range of movement. Nice swivel on the wrist and a nice back and forward and rotation. Separate rotation on the hand there, is there? No, it just rotates on the wrist and left and right on the, uh, on the hand. Torso, great range, but no real ab crunch there due to the mechanism on the inside. As you can see, there's the button, there's the uh, thing. This is why he does look so skinny when the stand is around the waist, because he has no waist. I could do kind of padding that out a bit, and yeah, I think it would look a lot better. I can't get the uh, trousers off. He does have this uh, kind of padded shirt on underneath his jacket and his t-shirt. Uh, which does kind of beef him out just a little bit. I may even put some like wrap or some tissue or something around him just to give him just a little bit more bulk. Um, with regards to the thighs, you've got a nice ball joint in that thigh there. You've got an upper thigh swivel. Taking a look at this knee, we've got a double jointed knee there. Lots of exposure on that knee, but it's going to be covered up by the trousers. The upper thigh swivel is a great range of motion. And the boots themselves don't come off. They are, in fact, part of the joint. Uh, there's a ball just inside here. If I pull that off, see, it's just, uh, just inside there and pegs in, like so. And you've got a rocker motion on the foot, forward and back, but nothing side to side. What would I like to have seen differently with regards to this figure? Um... Maybe some interchangeable hands, maybe just like a closed fist or something like that. Um, maybe even, um, due to the way the joints are, they're very pop-on, pop-off, maybe even an exo, exo, endo, endoskeleton arm that we could pop on there as well. But all in all, it is a huge value for money figure. I'm actually looking at getting a one-quarter scale Harley Davidson for him to sit on. Uh, that's going to be big. <laughs> That's going to be really big. But he is going to look the part on it. He really, really is. Let's see how he stands up to modern day quarter scale figures. Here he is with his uh, endoskeleton equivalent. And yes, that did break as soon as I got it. The leg snapped clean off. Uh, he feels a lot sturdier. Like There's a lot more time and effort gone into him. Don't get me wrong. I love these guys and I'd love to start army building them. But they are so brittle. And literally, it fell apart. Whereas this guy, he um, 
he may well have fell off my display shelf and survived the drop test, so... Well done, Diamond Select. He is Benproof. And here he is with Dutch, uh, personally one of my favourite NECA figures. Uh, again, Dutch was a really, really great sculpt, much better bulk to him, but I still think that the uh, Diamond Select figure really does pull off the Arnie look a lot better. Okay, he hasn't got the bulk, he hasn't got the mass, but he has got that perfect, perfect Arnold Schwarzenegger look to him. All in all, a truly amazing figure, well ahead of its time, with a great sculpt and a must-have addition to anyone's collection. Thanks for watching, guys. From myself, Mr. Schwarzenegger, take care and goodbye.